Hello, my name is David from Insane Athlete, and today I'm just going to be giving you guys some quick tips on how to uh, stick to your resolutions and keep that weight loss going. Just some simple tips for weight loss. So I got uh, six of them here. Uh, these, if you just follow these simple guidelines, you should really be able to see that weight drop down in the direction you're looking for. You know, about one to two pounds a week is all we are shooting for. You know, slow and steady. So uh, the six tips I have for you, number one, you gotta drink more water. So, you know, you need probably about a gallon a day is a good recommendation starting point. I know that's a lot, but if you can increase slowly up to a gallon, that would be awesome. And then if you can drink ice water, that actually is proven to boost your metabolism even more. So drinking cold, fluid actually burns a few extra calories per cup and that those little few calories really add up over time second tip you need more veggies and fiber in your life uh, veggies you know that fiber really helps your digestive system and really keeps your metabolism up burning more calories than you would eating more processed foods so try to stay away from the processed foods and stick with those veggies uh, number three, you definitely need to make sure you're getting in enough protein. Not only is it important for muscle mass and if you're lifting weights, which I would hope you're doing if you're trying to lose weight, uh, it also helps your metabolism as well. One gram of protein is four calories, but for every gram, you actually burn about one calorie just digesting it. Something to keep in mind. All right, number four, we need healthy substitution. So look, have a good look over your diet and see where you are failing. Like what's unhealthy about it in your regular routine? Maybe you have too much half and half in your, uh, in your coffee. Maybe you need to cut that down to drop a few calories. Maybe you use sugar in your coffee and you could use either stevia or some other kind of sweetener to uh, cut back a little bit. Uh, just have a look at ways you can cut back. Maybe the bread has too many calories that you're using. You can use a lower calorie option. Um, maybe you could just cut out the bread entirely. Find ways you can cut back and just cut out the, uh, the junk from your diet and you'll really see big results in the long run. Uh, maybe you can use zucchini pasta instead of regular spaghetti. All right, number five, you need more movement in your life, guys. So try and find a way to fit in more cardio than you are currently doing. Try to increase and also try to fit in resistance training as well. A combination of cardio and resistance training is going to be most effective for weight loss. And last but not least, you need to have patience. Most people jump into a weight loss program and they end up quitting after just a few weeks. So don't be one of those people, you know, give yourself the time to transform. Weight loss does not happen overnight. Just like you gained that weight, it took time. Losing it is also gonna take time as well. So just keep that in mind. Aim for just one to two pounds of weight loss per week. A 500 to 1000 calorie deficit is really what you're shooting for every single day. And that's gonna add up over time. Think about months. Don't think about days. Think about weeks and months. All right guys, just follow those six simple tips. I can guarantee you those results will be happening and you won't even have to check your weight on the scale every day. You don't have to log every single calorie to get those results you're looking for most likely. So just take it slow. You know, make small changes and those small changes add up to big things over time. Alrighty guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.